that's a huge setback. So this is going to be an interesting yeah, episode for sure. For on progression this series, is Hidden Arsenal 7 two. for which I wish I was dead <laughs> has ah, built something like a hundred oh different God, deck bro. lists. I'm going to banish a light and a dark. <laughs> we lost the last one for completely <laughs> bullshit <laughs> reasons. Bro, come wow. on. I lost it. This News tweet is In up. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster... Oh, cool. Someone actually replied to that Kazuki Takahashi said no money thread and said, here's Julia saying it's due to licensing agreements with the IP owners. Oh, wow. Hmm. Packs for one box. <laughs> it was a lie all along. Booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, however, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released, moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. Today's video is sponsored by Grand what the fuck? Archive. The what? This isn't 5%? Vortex, thank you for the uh, the dollar. If you want 5%... Where is my 5% off? Where is my 5% off? In any case, here's a neat fact. The German copy of Sophia, Goddess of Rebirth, had a mistranslation where you need one face-up ritual synchro or Xyz monster. Oh. Brand new trading card game that raised nearly $1 million on Kickstarter and their second... <laughs> Come on, man. Hmm, an anime card game, eh? In set, the Fractured Crown is set to release a bit later this month. I'll be doing an a box anime opening. TCG with Western game design. <laughs> ah, the worst of both worlds. A bit later in a separate video on this channel, so be sure to check that out, or you can click the links down in the description to learn more about the game. Thank you all so much, and we hope you enjoy today's video. Yeah! Well, I gotta be honest, it's been a minute since we've been in the winner's circle, and that's because we've lost three in a row, so I am ecstatic to be back here and getting into some very exciting sets in the coming weeks. We have Hidden Arsenal 7 today, we have Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy next week. A lot's gonna be changing for the progression series. Oh, but yeah. first, we have to spin our wheel. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm just gonna say this. Gage got three Starlight Rare wild cards. I just want you to know the math on that is a 1 in 1,000 chance, because there's 10 slots on the wheel. The chance of that happening three times in a row is extremely unlikely, but it is what it is. It would only be fair if I also get a Starlight Red Wild card. So let's give the wheel a nice good spin here and see what we are going to be getting. Well, there goes the Starlight Red Wild card. Yeah! No more redoer tickets. I don't need any more. Although I will say, <laughs> I'm going to be very trigger happy to be using them today because today <laughs> is Hidden Arsenal 7. I'll have Gage tell you all about it. Our Fire Fist Gladiator Beast was just not enough to be able to tie up the Yu-Gi-Oh! program. Gage has a herpy. Man, I hate I hate when this shit happens to me. This constantly happens where I'm like, oh, time to record. And then I realize I have a zit on like my lip and I go, God damn it. It's going to look like I have herpes the whole fucking video. Series season two, but the crown is not out of reach yet. As long as we get a nice little streak of wins under our belt, we can still easily reclaim the crown from Alex. I'm really feeling it still. I feel like we've been playing uh, really, really well recently. Our last deck, I think, just didn't make the cut. There was a lot of cards in Alex's deck, like a Snowman and stuff that really contested our strategy. I'm sorry for well. having bad today, skin, though, Leah. Is really exciting Not all of us open, can be VTuber be smooth. Some new strategies for the both of us. Hidden Arsenal 7, Night of the Stars, <clears throat> released April 26th, 2013. Aren't you in the wrong stream? This set is... Incredible. Leah watches all my streams start to finish to the game, Constellar and Evil Sword, on the like 5% really chance that Danny themselves. shows also, up. I think from a sealed standpoint, they might be some of the best we've seen yet. Evil Sword was one of the decks that was this is a crazy set, by the way. This opens very, up so many options for deck building. The, uh, the high level strategies that you would be seeing in Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. The I'm pretty sure that two everyone is watching my stream exclusively because there's like a 5% chance Danny shows up. Ovion's pretty insane. Uh, level 5 or higher monsters cannot be special summoned while he has material, and then he can also detach material to search an infestation spell trap, which you would search infestation pandemic, which is just their copy of Forbidden Lands. Again, with the rise of Dragon Rulers being absolutely without question the most popular, most dominant deck of the format, 
this was a great kind of counter to it. You know, you Ophion Pass. Dragon Roars is the top two decks. This was kind of a third deck to kind of complete a triangle type format. Constellar in their own right was pretty good. Not, I think, at a competitive standpoint. I think Evil Swarm, just everything around it was uh, working as intended for the deck to become like actually good at the time, right? Like, could you imagine if a high level deck didn't exist back then? If everyone was just also playing, I'm gonna yeah, make rank bad. four strategies. This card wouldn't do anything. So the Evil Swarm strategy was really looped around by having the format a was not a triangle. Some of themselves. The format Mandragora was is essentially rock a scissors, and then just like you have Castor as an additional miasma. normal summon. Constellar has an additional one like that too, in the form of Pollux. <clears throat> and then you had a card like Thunderbird, which has a wind up rabbit effect, which would just keep itself on the field by like bumping itself out and resummoning itself. All those combined, able to make a pretty cool deck. Constellar uh, has the same kind of strategy of sticking level fours, but they are able to level modulate. You'll typically be seeing Rock, fives water, and sixes. Scissors, the, the scissors. Five that's good. PIDs. Also, just a great Maybe card in general, dude. Maybe a scaling five triangle. Begin, Thank uh, you, Brown Five. Turn, detach material, and then bounce a card on the field back to the hand. Pretty strong. And then a couple other hidden arsenal archetypes got some more support. Seraphite ended up becoming better a lot later down These the line when we got a card like Brilliant Fusion, but at the moment it wasn't anything too good. Uh, and then Molten Conduction Field was also just really, really good for the I wonder if they're stale. And possibly the two most important cards of the set here, uh, coming out of a hidden arsenal set, no less, super surprising, was a card like Laval Ball Chain and Digusto Emerald. Both finding themselves on the Forbidden Limit list in their own ways at some point here. Digusto Emerald remains at one. Chain still banned, probably should remain banned forever. Both these are generic rank fours. Chain That's an isosceles triangle, you moron. Foolish burial on legs uh, just by detaching a material. And you also get two stack monsters on the top of your deck if you want to as well. And you can just read. This card's like insane. This is probably one of the best rank fours ever printed. Oh my god. And then Dagusto Emerald up. having three of these allowed for some silly little loops where you could loop the card over and over infinitely and just have some combos off that. This is an integral part of Zodiac format, having multiple... Uh, Fill like, in the holes emeralds, for able to free. Back engine back multiple times, including the emeralds themselves. Thank you for the prime. Essentially have infinite value, right? Both of these cards are ridiculous. I'm going to be looking for at least a copy of both of them because they both get banned at some point. But if I can get multiples of Lavalo Chain, there are some really sick decks we can play with that. It's been a minute since I had to open a pity pack. All right, let's oh, make it man. happen. I got to open Astral Pack 2. Astral oh. Pack 2. What's All the one? asshole like, packs are Dragoons, so good. Dragoons, I think, is good. the ultimate rare. We could get lucky. All right, we got three pity packs. Astral pack two. Anything good? Flip them up. I mean, okay, Hawk's uh, not, like, bad, right? I mean, really it could have been worse, yeah. Cards, but I think Hawk's one of, like, not one of the great ones, right? Sky Scout. Oh, my lord. Pack number two. It is what it is. All right. Another, another hot. Pack number three. Owie! Water art. AOE. That's a lot of trap cards in this one. Nothing to play in these ones, actually. I think there's, like, some upsides. There's some pretty good cards you can get from Astral pack two. We didn't see any of them. All right. To the big one, though. Hidden Arsenal 7. Uh, if Alex does not consider to use a respin ticket, unless he pulls absolutely insane, uh, just absolutely roast him in the comment chat. I don't know what he's thinking. <laughs> Hidden <laughs> Arsenal 7. Yell at him. Two, one, two, Yell four at packs him. of them. Let's see what we get. I'm hoping for some biggies, bro. All right, you guys. 24 packs of Hidden Arsenal 7 Night of Stars. I'm going to put this out there right now. Even if we pull the best Constellar core possible out of this set, I'm probably going to re-roll because I think I need a hard re-roll for Evil Swarm specifically. That can't be right, right? I feel like Evil Swarm are fine, but like... They're not that good. They were they were a meta pick. And even then, they lived and died off of the availability of Rescue Rabbit. Just to have a solid anti-meta contender in case Gage's Dragon Ruler pull is insane. Uh, we already have extraordinarily powerful what? cards. Oh, because he has Big Eye. Season one. And Dragon Rulers were a tipping point for the Progression Series Season 1. So I need to be as best prepared as possible. We'll see what the pulls are, of course. Let's hope up the first pack. Infestation Infection is a fine card. It's not what we're looking for. We're primarily Algeides looking for Ophion. Algeades Nuts. We're is that doing anything for, for anyone? Infestation Pandemic. And I think Evil Storm Thunderbird is a secret rare oh, as well. But we good. did get Mandragora. Honestly, I'm not really too worried about the supers because with 24 packs, there's not that many supers. It's pretty likely to get a Mandragora. Algeity is also a good for Constellar if no. we do end up having to go that route. Well, double infection. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure we only play one. This is pretty big, though. Seraphonite. Yeah, me a double you know, infection not, after spending too much time episode. with a Mandragora. Uh, if we get brilliant no, fusion working. down the line in the Dark Illusion, Clash of Rebellion. I, I can't remember which set that... Uh, it was a blue set. I'm almost certain. In any case, Seraphonite something we didn't have before. Okay, come so on. That'll be cool for later we on. We can't do this 20 Four Evil times. Swarm Caster, which is an essential piece of Evil Swarm, but it again, it's a super rare, so we're pretty likely to get it. Evil Swarm Bahamut is not. Oh, oh fuck! Do we have tin goldfish already? 
That's huge. Fion, but it is another power. Bahamut's rank good. That Bahamut Nicosorum is a good card. Line has access. It's good to. in the dark. It comes up occasionally. I'll say again. Mm -hmm. Ophion's, you know. Uh, no, I, you really got to give put some respect on Bahamut's name. Uh, it's it's quite strong. Um, it is. It, it's like mind control, kind of. Like by far and away the best card, but it's still a nice option to have. Uh, Tin Goldfish is something too. I think I've already pulled one of these. I forgot to talk about it. This is great. I mean, along the lines of Kage Takage and you know Goblinburg and Photon Thrasher, all these rank four spam decks. Tim Goldfish is insane. Digusto Emerald. This That's is another big. issue when it's it comes huge. to Hidden Arsenal Seven because uh, Gaius. The song is called Queen from Delta Rune to Raps. If we pull cards like Digusto Emerald or Lavaval Chain, which two, there are two cards that are currently banned in actual. Uh, if you search. Video. Full version, uh, you will get the full gonna version. It's going to be hard to respin this, so I'm happy that I have this, but at the same time, I'm also sad because we're a third of the way through. I haven't seen an Ophion yet. There's a Nightmare, if anything, but it's. We're I actually have, have never seen Gishki Cyclone. I, I, I don't know what that card Ophion, is. And I need probably at least one Infestation Pen. Nightmare is great. It's a generic, um, one? though it does need Dark Mats, so it's not generic. All right, it is what it is, right? Uh, <laughs> can Stellar yeah, Prolapse, okay, that's not that great. Not good. Better cards. Kaos is awesome. Kaos is instrumental in the Constellar deck, being able to twice per turn. Is that Evil Swarm? So you can bump him and another Constellar you have up to You're, level five. Get your, get your hand off that. Come on, five. move your finger. Um, so pretty cool that we got him. That's awesome. Ten goldfish. It's Evil Swarm. Kappa 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 same purpose as like Goblin de Berg would, right? Normal summon special Goblin de Berg. Summon you got to stop saying that, that shit. Is a rank four. Ophion. That's the guy wow. right there. Like, uh, that's very big. To, that uh, is very large. Dragon Lords at the time here. I don't think this deck was at quite the power Vars level. Leg is also pretty good. As well as Dragon Lords were, but it was able to compete. Infection is also pretty good for the deck. Infection's I'm not lie. fantastic. That's, that's, o Lantern's that's nice right, too. Who <laughs> remembers Battle Pack Three? Archduke as our secret rare. Archduke's fine. Super rare. We'll play that until fours come out. I'm, I'm, I'm probably looking for better ones. Pollux's and Castors and the such, but haven't hit many of those yet. Potomli M7 is really, really Potomi's good crazy. in wow. general, actually. Potomi's this card's really great. really good. That's and unbelievable. And Evil Swarm Nightmare is actually even a really good rank four, actually. Don't Do we have a, an Omega? Uh, pretty much book we have to, special right? Summon. I, 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 or is this the bad, set right? for it? <laughs> That's pretty solid. Another 10 Goldfish, too. Awesome. Gishki Zeal Gigas. I will so never Gigas. have a Gishki deck to be able to play. Oh, my God. I know I wish I was dead once to build the Gishki deck. But the next one. need a couple, I think. It's just as eh, yeah. we, we only <laughs> needed one. We only needed really. one. No, it's a second Bahama. Bahamut is good. Come on. No. Crazy. Oh, man. The way that the secret rare luck goes sometimes, it's actually depressing. Evil Swarm Omega Salamandra is Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy? Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, that'll be big Prague, if we pull it. It might actually be worth playing because it's another Evil Swarm name. It's actually no, you're not, not a terrible card. We're, no, like we're not playing Salamandra. We can do a lot better than fucking it Gemini it Elf 2. To, like, it can just be a big level 4 monster. Uh, and mo most importantly, it has the Evil Swarm name attached to it. So we might just play this out of desperation. That's our third infestation. I've infection. never even Are seen Gear Spring kidding? Spirit. Oh what the fuck God, is that? that is it a Star Sparrow card? Like, like we really want. Iron Hammer M7. the Giant is. We haven't pulled really okay, we did get an M7. Is that Evil Swarm? But M7 is such a crazy card. It's generic. Like, you don't need Constellar to play this card. Like, if we were playing the Hieratic deck, which, don't worry, I'm not doing that anytime soon. But if we had this back with the Hieratic deck, we would have actually at least had a decent rank six to go into. That's our fourth infection. I mean, it's redundant at this point, regardless of like whatever card it would have been. Like if it was three. Me when I catch dysentery. That's our fourth infection. Me when the ivermectin doesn't stop COVID. That is my fourth infection. Ophion, three of anything. But that, at this point, it sucks because that card just actually just a blank. That's my second Zeal Gigas. Uh, the supers have not been anything to write home about. I'm Two Zeal Gigas is huge. That's enormous. That's, That's my third infection. I really feel like I might be. That's my third infection. He's on the Hydrochloroquine uh, kick. He, he has one fewer infection. Already. I need Chain and I need Emerald. If you I don't know, get both looking those, back like at COVID, do you remember when we were all like, who we were all, do you remember when people were like, you can use ultraviolet light to cure your body of COVID? That was the funniest thing ever. Not in that one either. I, that was my first cast or that I was able to pull. Me going to Lucky like... Me, I guess. <laughs> Santos is actually not a good Evil Swarm card. The yeah, roller like, rink <laughs> for a child's <laughs> birthday M7. party and oh, sitting gosh. under the black light. Like, you there's, don't there's understand. So I have active COVID. For, right? These are not bad, but I, I need myself... If I want to play this Constellar strategy all, I need a Pleiades. Haven't gotten one of those yet. Or a Boros is, is sick for some... A Rob Rose is crazy. This is actually really crazy forever. Um, This card is just... 
In it, it's reverse Trish. The Evil Swarm deck itself getting three level fours on the field is infinitely harder than getting two to make Ophion. And then the payoff for it is like not that great. I'm pretty sure this was like loopable in some damn FTKs. Like blue blooded only FTK was something that came up around this time. Say that again. What did I call it? I I do actually pick every time if I call it Ouroboros or Ouroboros. That's my third M7. Oh my god. <laughs> Why couldn't it be like three Lavalva chain? That'd be so much better. Oh, Ouroboros oh, can have yeah, a little Ouroboros, Ouroboros as a treat. Great, That's funny. You. Sophia, I'm gonna just try to flip up the last few. I don't. I don't Iron Call. I didn't realize it was that old. Sophia, Sophia. two Sophia. Two. Oh my God, that's three ten Archduke. God, just give me another one. This Four is fine. Four M sevens. This is what this the is fuck a fine. What happened with this roll. opening? <laughs> I'm not gonna even think about it. No, 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 no. This opening's fine. Oh. oh my God. How do you pronounce necropotence? Well, the problem is the right way to pronounce that is necropotence. But, like, it just sounds wrong. You got 24 more packs of this. Hopefully, you get more. No like chain, no emerald. I don't care. You got two Zelgigas. A second try here. I, I need some Oh, of the God. Cards. Is this our Laval chain shot? Okay, we should just be re rolling until we hit Laval chain. Laval chain? Never mind. You got to be fucking kidding me. This opening is nuts, but we haven't pulled the Evil Swarm stuff. We don't have any Thunderbird. I think we're good on Caster. Salamandra, we might have like two of. I know we're good on Mandragora, but we haven't pulled Ophion. We How do you pronounce pulled, Chains of uh, Mesistopheles? The, the spell either, but we pulled both Chain as well as Emerald. Oh my god, that's insane! How do you pronounce like, Chris I have Smith. to oh. keep this, no matter what. Like I can't respin Emerald. God, he's been on this for chain. forty-five that's, that's, minutes. Lunacy, fucking Tin Archduke. Come on, I, I swear. Tin Archduke's like fine. Already. Why is this in here? I mean, it's generic, I get, but this card fucking sucks. Oh my god. Us. Okay. Keep. This isn't as Keep. good as it seems because Lavalva Keep. Chain gets limited slash banned very quickly in Yu-Gi-Oh! So having access to multiple copies of this, I don't think it's particularly good. So this is kind of like a dud, but just the fact that we pulled multiples is insane. Okay. There's Infestation Pandemic. I gotta be honest, we've got four packs left. There is still a chance we can pull an Ophion. There's still is that a all we need we is the Ophion? Two Ophion. Are those chances high? Not necessarily, but honestly, if we can pull... What does he mean by pandemic, by the way? Earlier he said that's my fourth infection, and now he's got pandemics. Their symbolism will be their downfall. Folks, how deep do you think the rabbit hole goes? Do you think Simo is in the pocket of Dr. Fauci? Pull a pair of Ophion in these last four packs. This will be like the greatest best case scenario for what we could have pulled out of Hidden Arsenal 7. I'm I'm holding my breath, but there's still a chance. All right, 24 more. Bump it in. Let's see what we get. Pack number one. This is it's the same pack. similar to the, <laughs> to the first the pack. The exact same pack. Iron Call. I don't know if I have any cool machine. I mean, this is actually really good with Car Curry. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty good car with it Car is. Curry. Uh, Fexer Wait, he's right. It's destroyed during the end phase, but it is a machine reborn. It's not bad. Gem Knight Master. Diamond. Didn't you make the quarantine know, series? Listen, answer. I'm not going to listen. <laughs> I'm not going to admit to anything on stream, but let me just ask you this. Without quarantine, would there have been a quarantine series? Ask yourself that. FTKs with the Gem Knights brewing <laughs> at the moment. Bahamut's another one of those ones where it's like an okay one. It allows Bahamut's you to- Bahamut's great. I will not stand for this Bahamut slander. Control, but you have to I was donking kids with Bahamut in history. And it requires two evil swarm monsters specifically to make? Way too restrictive. It's not great. Oh my god. That's not great either. Uh, this is looking way worse than our first opening. Why is this- Why is this- Why is this looking even worse? This is looking unplayable. Oh my god. Give me something else. Oh my. Pleiades. Wow, Ladies that's great when I don't have my calcium anymore, right? <laughs> just, just, just. I don't think I mean, I've pulled any Pollocks either. Man, which is like dude, a if super, we get out of this with no Zelkigas after that first God, one, I'm going to be so mad. Paper, hey, hey, hey okay, all, right, all right, there's one. One of the good cards, Digusto Emerald. Ah, oh, it's better to get one of those. Rothschild, than huh? I think what do you mean by that? Of just like what do you mean by that? Materials. Again, Show me your preferred Bradley Cooper. Not prosthetic right now. I would love to pull the Volvo Chain because I think the Volvo Chain is a step above this card. But I'm, I'm happy I got this one at least, right? More than halfway through the packs. I Honestly, this one still looks even worse than our last opening. Hopefully, we can turn it around. Well, two of the this greed this episode the feels unreal. I, it's not that, that greedy. Sucks, I don't think it's that five, greedy. Two, I was I was down on him, but actually, he does He does oh need to pull What am I going to do with two Pleiades? 
Two Frog Blue episode one aired no June 29th, 2020. It was an inside job by Simo the entire Blue time. There's the Pollock I was looking for. Can I get one cows? Three Blue I agree. Eyes. Oh, my God. I think there's Ophion coming in later. Ophion. In November, right? We could still do it. Get? Three caster. Two Mandragora. What the fuck was that? The I didn't truth. get the infestation to search off. I got three infection, but I didn't get the good one to protect from spells traps. I got three more packs, though. Don't lose hope. <sighs> I've lost hope. All right. Now we're in the last pack. Anything good in the last one? Oh, my God. Sophia. Nice deck. This okay. We did get one Sophia. I guess that was awful. way worse. Yeah. I, this hasn't been good. I really wanted to play something fresh today and something new, and I don't think I have the cards to do it. I really don't. Um... Triple Pleiades is super unfortunate. What did he say? Pleiades. No either. I'm terrified of what Alex has gotten. Oh my god, if he's playing a Chaos deck too, he can dump the light or the dark. He plays like two lights in his deck. That's guaranteed access. No! Oh my god, his power's unstoppable at that point. <laughs> oh man, I'll see what I can do. I, I all hope can't be lost. Let's just go for a win today. Only a few packs left, ladies and gentlemen. A few packs left. There's, there's still a chance we could pull double Ophia. At this point... Maybe one Ophion is enough. The thing is, even if we only get one Ophion, we can still use the Evil Swarms as a rank four uh, engine, right? Because Mandragora is like a free special summon. I don't think Kirkion's released in the set. I think Kirkion's a Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy card. But in any case, Caster gives you an extra normal summon. Like, we can just use them for decent rank four fodder now that we have some good rank fours. It seems like that luck's turning around compared to the beginning of the Xyz era. I just need one Ophion. Oh my God! Just God. fucking click Three it. Three Just two would be ideal. Uh. Please, just one. Oh my God! We pulled out. Well. Oh my God! Thank you, fucking God. Okay. Now we're cooking, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're cooking. Three packs left to go, or two packs left to go, excuse me. Wow, I have never been so happy to see a fucking Floodgate monster in my life. Again, one of this is good enough. We can recycle it with Digusto Emerald if we absolutely have to. There are ways that we can technically get away with playing more than one Ophion, but this is insane. We don't have Thunderbird, but we could still pull a second Ophion too. Ophion or Thunderbird, uh, Thunderbird I'll take either one. That is not Thunderbird. Holy crap. That may be like the worst pack. Eh, Katos is okay. It's like bad Exile Force. Katosis. Or, um, not Exile Force. The one for Spells and Traps. In any case, can we pull a second Ophion? Last pack. I, I will absolutely lose my mind. Uh, oh, I saw the Xyz. <laughs> I, saw, I saw the black. Yeah, order. I saw it oh too, buddy. Okay. No, a no. The third Come on. chain is very no funny. Way. Nightmare is also decent too. So I, I shouldn't like, you know. Dude, a Simo milking has got to be so thorough. Take 60 seconds. All right. I, I shouldn't ignore Wipe that. yourself down. We have to keep this. Come on, man. This is insane. Emerald, Lavable <laughs> Chain, only one Ophion. But say if we win this episode and we right, spin a new wild prediction. card on the wheel, we could get a second Ophion just in time for He's Lord of the He's clearly thinking of There's playing no way we uh, this. I, I, Evil I'm sorry. Swarm. With Emerald plus Lavable Chain, we, we can't. If we pull like, Will he like play this BLS? and get either one of these... Maybe in we could evil consider swarm. respinning. Yes or no? We, we I'll refund if he doesn't play Evil Swarm. Please do not vote if you've already watched the episode. Ophion. I'm keeping it. Add it to the collection, ladies and gentlemen. You have a pretty good idea of what we're bringing today, so let's get into it. I had plans to bring one of the powerful two attributes that got a lot of new support in this set. Either the light... Why did we even pull the set? You could have already played this. Man, we don't even get anything for doing this. We get to play what? The shark number and Vylon Die Sigma? Christ, this is so fucking boring. With the Constellars or the Darks with the Evil Swarms, but... Neither of those stacked up. They did not look good. Add some of the fours to work with for Evil Swarm and an Ophion, but like none of the good ones. No like Thunderbirds. I didn't have a Pandemic, which is the. We the do have the one Iron out. Call. And cool. Didn't we already we have Goldfish? The first time around, but no Pleiades. And then I got three Pleiades and no Kaos on the second time around. I wish there was something there, but unless we get lucky with the wheel after winning this episode, 
I don't think we can build anything with them. So we had to have a backup plan. And I think this one's pretty all right. We're going to be utilizing 10 oh, goldfish is new. Okay. in this set. A machine all that right. I will, special level four I will rescind my frustration. We're going to be special summoning our good friends. Cool the deck. Again. The last time we played you this moved deck, out a goblin bird for a tin goldfish. It, I appreciate uh, it. Playing better cards than Alex, essentially. Having value over the game. And uh, hopefully we can do that again this time around. We tried the Constellar, only Evil Swarm, really Gishkis, Rank 5, Chain Beat, but we got very, two. very, very unlucky. The graveyard. If we have a, a, one of these machines, we can bring one back from the bin. And that allows us right, to, I don't need to save us, be able to make Wolf attack. It's not really an engine. I mean, the deck just looks solid. I guess that's the only adjective I can use for it. It just looks like all around okay. Game plan is super simple. And then, you know, if we can stick Fortress and repeatedly What do you think it, the Iron Call sounds like? We got better shot to win. I'm really upset we didn't get to take any strategies today, but hopefully maybe if Alex takes like evil swarms or something, if he pulled super well for it, uh, hey, I'm not summoning any sevens or hires the entire game. Good luck with that, right? You'll be able to see the true power of Gem Knight Pearl being the 50 additional attack you need to attack over the, uh, Ophion there. It was <laughs> truly in a league of its own. I think this deck's okay. Uh, and that's just the way to put it. I think if we just played better than Alex, maybe we have a chance of finding ourselves in the winner's circle again. Again, putting us in reach of that crown. I need to take it. I need to take it and set progression series history. I think this is the deck to do it. Let's see what Alex is playing. Okay, before we move on, what do you think the Iron Call sounds like? I think it sounds something like... ...playing this week. Hopefully it's something decent. Well, it's not often we get a... Oh! Deck ...courtesy of a hidden art. All right, believers. Who's a believer? <laughs> you got like a 1 to 1.1. 1 .1. Yeah, uh, unsurprising. Two total lights. Oh, no, we've got four. We've got four lights. All right, so this is weird. Like, this looks like a much more competent deck than, uh, than Gage's because it's playing cards that were released after the year 2001. The, um, the unfortunate truth, though, is I think it's actually not as good. Uh, like, he's just playing three Heliotrope to play Heliotrope. The reason this card was powerful is because you would get it off of Rescue Rabbit, which we're just not playing. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. The deck's end goal is to make Ophion and Search Pandemic, but that was good specifically because Ophion was an unoutable asshole for Dragon Rulers. And, like... This just looks like, like, I I could get it if we were saving this for the Dragon Ruler episode if our polls didn't work out, but playing it now feels like kind of giving the game away, right? I don't know. Arsenal of all things, if you saw the previous Hidden Arsenal episodes, you know that quite well, but we were fortunate enough to pull ourselves together. No uh, die? I feel like die, is die Storm out package. yet? And yes, I know. I'm still playing like some of the chaos stuff, but give me a break. Evil Storm's dark. It makes no sense to not play these cards in here. So <laughs> so, uh, we're playing Evil Swarm, ladies and gentlemen. I, it, there is a world where Gage could also be playing Evil Swarm. He could also just have gotten the. Oh God! I am glad we don't get the fucking gotten, like, Evil Swarm mirror. The eighties or multiple copies of that. Which, in that case, that would be sick to have like a hidden Arsenal Seven showdown. But in any case, uh, let's do the card by card. You already yeah, know these I think two, this is and also effect Baylor as well. We just need some lights to be able. To I don't know. I. You uh, know Evil what I'm actually gonna say? This is gonna sound so stupid, but you all are gonna immediately know what I'm talking about. This deck feels a little too consistent. You know what I mean? Like, most of Alex's decks that are, like, 41 ofs, he just kills Gage into the sun because he draws the perfect card in any individual instance. But this is always going to produce a hand that can make an Ophion over the course of two turns. And, like, is that really something you want to do? Like, even in a world where you draw Mandragore, it's just like, oh, my God. Stormcaster, during the turn it was normal summon, we get an additional normal summon. Uh, this is not in effect. I don't know why negated. we're not like playing Infestation so, like, uh, this, which is kind of sick. Infection, and, uh, by the way. That card relevant. just seems we good. We have Storm Mandragora as well. This, as long as our opponent controls more monsters than us, we can special summon from the hand. So going second, as long as we have this and any other Evil Swarm, we have access to a rank four. Salamandra is interesting. Typically, List didn't play this because they had better cards like Thunderbolt bird and such, but Salamandra <laughs> yep. serves a few key purposes. First of all, it's big, right? Second of all, only it's a card one that target in the deck for Ophion. That's the thing is like Pandemic is good dad, anyway, like right? It contests like a bottomless that really prevents no you from getting that, to like, a four. Like, why would you just 
just evil swarm main. why wouldn't and you just play it 2450 and can hit over actually a lot of no KC, yeah in the format. so he, he like doesn't have the right type of mind for this you need to be playing floodgates you need to be playing as little Yu-Gi-Oh as possible Ryo in here as well we have witch because it can search literally the whole deck I think except for all right I gotta ask you all about witch because I always did this and I just assumed everyone did it but now I'm realizing it, it probably is not the case did when this card was legal did you ever call this card bitch of the whack forest I feel like I called it this from release until it was banned no one else knows what I'm talking about bitch of the whack forest ls which is crazy and the three heliotrope this please is by the way do not answer if you were born after this card was banned i do not value your input on this question uh the evil storm decks of the old days would play rescue rabbit and you can just bring two of these out and immediately go into ophion the problem is we don't have rescue rabbit so why are we playing this well if you look at the other evil swarm options they're not great i mean there is like a couple of them that are okay uh there's the one zahak this one, it's 1850, so a little bit smaller and has a mandatory effect that if it's sent to the grave by battle or card effect... We weren't theater kids. Everyone at my local called it Bitch of the Whack it, Forest. But I picked it up like from them. I didn't invent it. may not necessarily always have that, so it's kind of weird. There's also stuff like Azathoth, which we're citing, or even uh, the Eagle here, which is like a compulse, but again, it's a mandatory compulse, and if Gage has stuff up that we don't want to give him back again, like a tanky or something, that could be annoying, although a compulse is still a compulse at the end of the day. I just feel like having a 1950 beater is just like a decent normal summon because it gets in for a significant amount of damage we're <laughs> it's just like not remotely true right like you'd always want to be playing varsleg right playing beatdown oh, stun at the end of the day for the spells we have book brain con dark hole we are playing like the think about it this way right if you're in a position where you need a, a monster on field or an extra name for the caster to make an ophion varsleg and heliotrope are the same card if you need a turn one play, Heliotrope is a terrible normal. Varsleg is a fantastic set because the only way your opponent gets over it is with a monster that it can then bounce, right? Lance that we have to be able to protect our Ophion or anything else. Why are we matter. on skill one drain? Pandemic, Conflicts with Bia. Pandemic, but honestly, that's probably all we need. Pandemic's weird because it can get very cloggy in Evil Swarm lists as well. So I kind of like that we're just on the one, but I would like that we have additional protection if we had more copies. That's neither here nor there. We have Triple MSC Pot and Rhoda because Rhoda can search our uh, caster because this is in fact a warrior. The traps, we have double bottomless, double compulse, double Coming from a college student while it was legal, we called it Bitch of the Black Forest. The extra deck, you might that's, be surprised to see some synchros here, but I do have Valor and Valor is a tuner plus with brain control there is a world where like we could brain control a like cost that's level five if gage is playing constellar and then all of a sudden we can summon valor and make brio out of that or just any five for that matter uh catastor is the most likely thing we'd go into although if we're playing the mirror matches cards gonna be worthless we could also find ourselves in a scenario where we have a four we take control of a four by the way people valor, born after which was banned can vote now likely. by the way also, i know like stardust haven't like you seen five. the makeup of like our congress and then we're dark, so we can the reason it's so fucked up is because stardust. i don't know I People are voting who never called that card bitch of the whack over, forest. Like, the bad rank fours that we have, like tin. Let me tell you right now, a lot of the people up. currently in the, the Senate, actually matter. Emerald's great those bitches would do much Ophion better if we put them in the whack forest. So ideally, we're gonna try to stick Ophion early, folks. And then mid game, politics. Shuffle this back, which means we can stick another four later. So ideally, that's yes. The young voters are the problem. I agree. Everyone younger than me is too stupid to be allowed to vote, and everyone older than me is too disconnected from modern civilization to be allowed to vote that's why i'm the only so one who should like be allowed to vote for this hypothetically <laughs> i vote alex <laughs> how is he still Pearl, talking Lovato, about this deck cooperative these are lights as well so it's nice <laughs> it's that because we're playing BLS. Minutes. if we need a light we can just make one of these <laughs> we're <laughs> over halfway <laughs> through the episode the double warrior lady uh this is a rota target but it's also <laughs> removal i'm having a bit of he sold me on this episode by being like this shit's almost an hour and i'm like oh it must be some good games good for dealing with ophion so i figure just having big uh just removal in that sense is not bad as a thought's a cool card uh i think this card's actually pretty decent it's just literally shuffle something back to the deck if it's flipped face up and it's 1950 defense it's just a bit slow at the end of the day it's not like a beatdown type card it's more controlling but depending on the way we the have go, to just play a deck control deck playing, we might bring how do you how do you open a set that includes not one but two insanely powerful gravekeepers guard style effects and be like, we need to be turboing the rank four that searches the advantage gaining spell, which means we are an aggro deck. 
even in a world where you can get to Ophi on turn one, you're just using it to get advantage. Like, this is a control deck. You are going to sit on 1-4 as long as you can. He's in. Uh, Mole is also hilarious out for Ophion. It's just a, a wide... Like, and his deck building playing. reflects that. Like, he's on Fiendish Chain and shit. He's on Thunder King. But for some reason, when justifying cards he doesn't want to play, he's like, oh, I mean, it's not aggro enough things uh, that come out of the extra deck so i kind of like it in the sideboard triple dust in case you know we just need to deal with like any floodgates or any of that speaking of floodgates we are double an aggro control brings up uh constellar <laughs> for sure. to duel because then we just have the preemptive sideboard and triple macro we this can deck would have the vanilla like tag on h forms going back to what we were talking about earlier maybe porn addiction is real trophy's playing a graveyard based deck you know if it's like insector or any weird stuff like that and then we just have this and then we're playing just truly just stun beatdown at the end of the day that's what evil swarm is and so i'm happy that we actually get to bring up more tempo new Deck for the Me most when I'm coping, we're, we're tempo and, uh, actually. I think we might be doing that uh, next week as well, tempo. considering next week's Tachyon Galaxy. But first, let's go ahead and get another win on the board, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to duel. We we made it. We're a grappler. <laughs> Gage, isn't it great to open a hidden arsenal set <laughs> and it's like actually good for what? <laughs> This motherfucker is playing zero in Arsenal cards. Oh <laughs> uh, like yeah, it's, the very uh, it's great. First time, bro. This set hit Arsenal seven. Whoa, let's hear that voice crack. <laughs> I feel like it's the very first time, bro. This set feels like the first time. Hit Arsenal seven. Such a shame it's the last hidden arsenal, by the way. Yeah, is, I, well, <laughs> eight, arsenal eight, I love when there? my favorite thing know, Gage does yeah. is when he ends his sentences like that. He's like, Yeah, it's like the last one. <laughs> No, no, I love the it. Last one. This is the uh, first so and the last real set. In like a platonic yeah. way. Yeah. Is there a hidden arsenal? Wait, wait, wait. I thought I there is. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm crazy. In any case, while you're looking that up, uh, yeah, like, okay, before in like hidden arsenal one, we had Brio, right? In hidden arsenal two, I think we had Nat Beast, or, you know, we had some of like some good early synchros. And then after that, you we had so disappointment after true. disappointment. And now we have seven. And not only do we have like playable generic extra deck cards, but we also have two fully fledged archetypes that almost get oh all my their fucking god play the game yeah, and i will <laughs> almost all their support this three is the fifths last through the video oh it sorry is the sorry i think that they would get all their support it's really impressive because like you said there's only two archetypes evil swarm and constellar but this is the first and only set they get and the entire strategy is already solved from one set it's really yeah. impressive this set is really good it's also funny too that they get the same card for their respective archetype in the next set lord of the tachyon galaxy in uh kirkion and sombre which literally are just the same card for their respective deck um but still a good card nonetheless that we could possibly depending on what our pulls were this episode that we might be able to upgrade but we'll have to see how you feeling about your pulls before we get into the match um i feel all right i, I, I don't think you can walk Bro! Out set disappointed there's tons of options, uh, so even if you don't get a first stab at everything, uh, I think a reroll, you're definitely able to get something you're happy with. Do, do like, you want to uh, share this? Generics. Did you use a reroll sure, ticket? Got... Oh, I mean, I could probably already guess you. We are, we have reached the 30 minute mark. Didn't, uh, but but <laughs> I did use one. Yes, I did okay. use a reroll. I will did I will use? I will say this. I went into this episode ready. Hands at the ready to use a redoer ticket, and I ended up not doing it. So that should maybe <laughs> give you some insight. That into should, my hands are at the ready. That sounds terrifying, Alex. Joseph, why don't you skip or speed up? Come on, Vlad does not need this to be an hour. I speak for Vlad when I say, yes, he does. You pulled the greatest hit in Arsenal 7 box known to man. I don't know I about that. For no less. I don't know about <laughs> that, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, uh, we'll talk about it at the end, of course. Let's shout the patron. AJ Haas, thank you for the support. This is going to be an important die roll, buddy. Uh, you're on the precipice of actually passing me the progression series last episode, but I'm slowly pulling away here, and uh, it looks like I'm not slowly pulling away in rock, paper, scissors. That's for sure. Yep. 30 50 all right let's see how long the games last it's not out of reach yet i still think i definitely got a chance here so um what am i gonna do if vlad needs that doing? entry money for uh, dortmund i think i am going to opt to go first with my strategy interesting okay well if you are playing one of the two decks from today it could be either one honestly because i think we'd want to go first this hand's play. ass so, this hand does luck, nothing buddy. let's see what you're we're going to. second though so maybe right, it does cool, stuff best of luck i think i'm going to start my turn by special summoning 
Photon Thrasher. Okay, that's a light. Where are we going it with this? A light. I'm going to follow it up with a normal summon of Red Gadget, and I'm going to add to it okay. Red Gadget. Okay. Yeah! Either deck from today. We're just going for a, another Red Woo! 4 deck, ironically. But yeah, here we I are. Wanted, I wanted to keep it in theme, right? If I'm going to do anything from this episode, <laughs> it's going to be one of those things, right? You just exceed for four. Tin Goldfish, uh, that's, that's a card. That's my man. Yeah, exactly. A little bit of inspiration. We get a Feral today. Guy, so right? I'm going to exceed these two. And I'm going to actually just make a uh, number 39. <laughs> <laughs> you know the best part? Um, this beats Simo's entire hand. <laughs> Utopia here. Seems pretty good. I'll follow it up with Pot of Green. Ah! Thinning the deck by one. Two more cards into my hand. Um, I'll set one. I'll set two. Your move. I know you got a yellow gadget in hand. Uh, funny enough, uh, this photon thrasher. Bro, you are not talking about this. I forget which set this card originally debuted in. I pulled one in, like, uh, uh, not Astral. Bro Astro thinks Pack. he's yeah, doing Astro Twitter Pack freaks. Was, that was my first Get on with it. That I pulled. That's so funny. I think it was a rare in, like, Galactic Overlord. Okay, and I did not right. get can, any of them. We can maybe Fantastic. do something here. All right. You got an ulti? You got th didn't you get two of them? In your I got two. Party? I got two? another yeah. one, too, after that. that. Yeah, yeah. I forgot is I got two. Is yeah. hard Which once. is, like, what are the it chances, right? Anyway, I'm, I'm sidetracking. Sorry. Uh, main phase one. Utopia... He's kind of an asshole. I'm not gonna if lie. we just bottomless uh, the first summon, we win. have two back row. Tell you what, Gage. I'm going to set... Alex plays his first card at 32.41 into this 53-minute video. Three back row. Jeez. And I'm going to throw it back. Oh, Jeez. what the fuck? <laughs> Why are we doing this? So I think the theory... The theory is that we can prison the Utopia... And then solemn the normal. Okay, so like here's here's the issue is if we prison right. the utopia no and then allow Gage to do another normal chain, he just makes another utopia. What? What so you have to fuck? prison the utopia, How are all those bottomless the second utopia, and none of Gage's <laughs> back row has to do anything. <laughs> or you can solemn the normal, but I then the Mandragore is, is like offline. Yellow, yellow, green, green. This that is a tempo worry. play. I'm gonna summon. I'm just gonna go battle phase. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll uh, I'll deprison this. Oh, he's thinking. Yeah, I'll because in oh, a moon to keep Utopia alive. Okay. Okay. Wait. Can you activate Utopia as CL two? You can't, right? Because it's upon attack deck. No. Okay. You can't. There's no sure. way. Sure. That's fine. That's still good though. Cool. Okay. So we'll go main phase two. Uh huh. Um, I will summon Yellow Gadget. And sure. I'll use Yellow Gadget's effect. It's the one I know about. We'll pick up a green gadget from deck. Yeah, but it does nothing. It How does it do nothing? I'll pass. Go ahead. It, it wouldn't I be attacking. Draw. That's pretty good. Stand by main. Let's go ahead and space that back row. Let's see what you're cooking up back okay. there. Okay, I'll chain it. And I'll wow, what a the, punish. Um, I'll hit the far left here. Best case scenario, uh, oh, it's bottom uh, Okay. So Jim's well, gadgets, okay. to be fair, isn't that great, but it would be good I'm if you really flip up that, that Utopia. Sadly, really happy with that. you're not going to get the chance to do that, my friend. I am going to, since you control more monsters than I do, special Mandragora? summon Evil Sword yeah. Mandragora. <laughs> yeah, I can already <laughs> tell. Okay, cool. That's a very good level four monster. 1550, bro. We're going to be 1550. Numbers. It's not bad at all. Um, We're going to then normal summon Evil Swarm Salamandra. Oh, shit. That's two fours. Oh, it's my God. two fours. Okay. And, uh, we're we're going to go bro, for it, my eat, friend. Eat the fucking right monsters. Here. What are I'm you gonna doing? I'm going to see if there's uh, any other options. Eat I the goddamn go monsters. First, but uh, there might be a particular rank four with the Evil Swarm name that I might be wanting to fiend for here. Although you're not playing anything above a four, most likely. So I don't know how that's good true. he is. That's true. That's true, right? <laughs> Muhammad. Yeah, no, he's just the best oh, one. Man. Ophion is on the field, my friend. Yep, that's for that's for sure fine. Are you going to use his effect? I would like to, if you'll allow me. Yep, I allow it. Go ahead and search Get pandemic here. Spell or trap. And there's one in particular. Bro, think how crazy infection would go here. Uh, oh, that he's got I would the like best one. <laughs> Maybe we were an aggro deck. It's not bad. Okay, now the unfortunate part of all this is that, <sighs> well, there's a couple unfortunate things. I could try to go like super in here. I could just kill your gadget. Your utopia is not really a threat to me anymore, I guess, but it kind of is just annoying to deal with. So I actually am going to take out. All right, the this is going to be a solemn judgment for the win. He's gone. Second main. I'll set a card. Could be literally anything, trust literally me. Literally anything. Turn. I will draw for turn. Stand by in the main. All right, well, I mean, I guess I'll normal green gadget and I'll use okay. green gadget's effect. Yeah, keep going. All right, green, pick up. What the red. fuck is this hand? It's all monsters, uh, it's but none of them are. You know there's definitely outs to this Ophion. 
So, mm -hmm. uh, but they're limited. I have a little bit more than you would think, though. I'm assuming maybe you're like set up for like a Gem Knight Pearl beat over for 50. Iconic play from back then, right? But um, maybe I don't even give you the chance to go battle phase. I've already seen Deep Prison out of you. Do I just Direwolf pop it? You don't know that it's Pandemic, <laughs> Gage. You don't know. <laughs> I have a card sure. in my hand. You don't know that it's Pandemic. I'm just saying. All right. I'm going to exceed these two. Uh-huh. I'm going to assume you only have one Ophion, right? And if I can beat this one, like, I'm assuming you lose it. So I'm going to make Diamond Direwolf. I'll judgment this. Okay. So I wasn't making it either way. That's fine. Pretty hefty price to pay for it, though. I guess, um, I guess I'm just passing. Go ahead. Yeah. There I'll better draw. be a Stand by main. I guess hand. we'll get the beats on. We'll go caster. We, if we were always yeah. going to normal caster into this board, why didn't we just go special Mandragora, normal caster, uh, double normal Salamandra, overlay for Ophion, Ophion over the um, the Utopia, then the other guy, the remaining guy over the gadget, and leave him with no guys. I thought we were like playing around over committing, but yeah, like. That's fine. Uh, in retrospect, I should have done this. I had the caster last turn, so I could have gotten okay, three guys <laughs> and killed the dude. But a uh, little bit. I haven't played with Evil Storm in a while, so it's fine. We'll just get in for a huge amount of damage. Uh, second main, nice no having gores. that Ophion Gore's protection. Uh, this yeah, Baylor right, might actually pass. win us the game. Yeah, yeah, good. I'll draw. Stand by main. How's that hand of gadgets looking over there? Uh, it's actually looking a lot better after my draw. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, okay. Okay. I'm going to red gadget, and I'm going to red gadget. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. I will pick up yellow what the fuck? fellow here, my man. Mm -hmm. I'll do instant fusion for a thousand life points. Sure. Oh, that's <laughs> devastating. Okay. After a thousand life points have been paid, Carbonala Warrior gonna hit the field. That's fine. Gonna take them, and we're gonna make the ultimate Ophion counter. Gem Knight. <laughs> get him. <laughs> Fucking get him. Yeah, I love sure. it. Um, question is, am I really worried if you keep this Ophion? Like, I, we <laughs> searched last time. We it search it may be worth time. getting the the, the, the caster. <laughs> You get another four, but then you have to make Pearl. Or you make Bahamut. No, but you don't have the material for it. I'm, like, probably way overthinking this. <laughs> no, what if we walk over Caster? All right, I'm just going to go Pearl into Caster. So this Yeah, because be otherwise you can normal the Veiler and make a Cataster. 850. Wait, he's yep. cracked. He's right. Don't you love dealing with the Evil Swarm 50s? My favorite. Uh, main two, I'll just set a card. and uh, We have back fun. row. Sure. I'll draw. Nice, nice deck. Stand by main. I think I like that. Uh, we'll just set another, and we'll pass. Okay. Um, <laughs> He's just not activating it. God, go. infection would be I'll so crazy. Thinking. Thinking. I will take the 50. Okay, sick. I'll go main two. I will summon yellow gadget. And I'll like yellow sure. gadget. Yep. What is our hand? Second it's got to be all I'm gadgets. Okay. I'm looking pretty Little late. control now. I like it. I like it. Not bad. Uh, we'll go main one. We're getting ourselves in a scenario where we can die to BLS um, at any time. That's good, yeah. We'll hit over. I think Gage is just yeah, holding back ooh, row, hoping for not did. getting killed by Those BLS. Ooh, that's, that's devastating. Brutal, sure, I'll take 100. That's Thanks. really bad. We're dead here. Uh, and Ryo's gone. Second main, I'll pass. Okay, I'll draw. Stand my main. Mm hmm. I'll just go battle phase. 12. 12 is good. Game. You got it. Nice. All right. Cool. We'll wow. What a fun right. game. Yeah. The Gem Knight Pearl. You were kidding. Man, but Ophion. legitimately, if he was just on infection, he would have walked with that, right? Slayer. That, back in the day, that was the man to do it, too. I'm not. <laughs>well uh some sloppy play on my part <laughs> a little I sloppy the price for it unfortunately if i would have done the play i said 1990 earlier, ass game right play. Forward, uh, that Come i had to on. deal with and, did people play uh, also with your back MST, in the day you kind of alluded that you had it but so keep in mind that evil swarm as, as a meta it, deck existed wanted to make sure the Ophion stuck in so a I very like specific a context there. but it is what it is thinking here this is kind of tough um you're on gadget. I don't really want you just like setting <laughs> up for free, especially when you basically just yeah. Blank before draw Dragon free, Ruler, right? Evil Swarm was but around, but not point, that good. And after Dragon, uh, during Dragon difficult. Ruler, Evil you know Swarm was first. around and better. Really? And then after it, Dragon Ruler, it was around and okay. Ophion, but all all through that time, it was kind of. See what, uh, that's okay. <laughs> that would be correct. That would be correct. Uh, we'll go standby main. I'm just gonna set the fort. I'm gonna set four and pass. Four. I mean, yeah, it's a lot. Epic to, deck. <laughs> it's a lot to beat. I'll draw. This this deck <laughs> cannot beat normal main. summon yellow gadget. All good. I love Alex that you didn't open up any dudes. Because I love Alex. Whoa! Summon yellow gadget so much easier. Where are the dudes? <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? It loses to normal summon a gadget. Yep. All right. Off a yellow, I'll pick up green. 
Mm-hmm. Big green. I'll go battle phase. I'll just try to get in 12. Uh, yeah, 12's good. Okay. Main phase two. Mm-hmm. You aren't the only one with a couple of spell oh, traps in the back row there. <laughs> I'll throw down a nice humble three. I fucking I'll love Yu-Gi-Oh. It's going to be one Oh, of that does it. All right. Uh, we'll go stand by I mean, main. there's a million back row. Let's just run out caster. I guess now it's, do I have the read if you have a second evil swarm? Or it's, I'm going to get bone zoned by. No, you, you bottomless this a million times. I'll allow it. That's fine. Battle. Yep. What's it? I'll take 550. No problem. Oh. Okay. Cool. Uh, I know you got a green gadget just coming down for me next turn. I'll just pass. Draw. Stand by me. Mm-hmm. I will start by summoning tin goldfish. Oh, we get to see the tin we'll goldfish. Do, uh, yeah, sure. Activate the effect of tin goldfish. Hidden arsenal jump scare. Yeah, that's okay, fine. sick. I will summon the uh, the green gadget, and then I'll green gadget trigger. Yep. I'll green gadget. This time. That's the last thing that happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So green gets me red. Does green miss timing off Goblinburg? All right. Unfortunately, this board's not equipped to deal with caster. I've got the... Yes. It's funny. Something. You don't have to. I don't man. have to, but... I mean, just, you don't have to. Be kinda, you can leave them. I'm just saying. It's silly if I didn't, <laughs> right? Um, okay. What am I going to... BTH, Solemn. I'm losing to them regardless. Um... I'm going to do it. All right. We're going to overlay these two. And I'm okay. going to try to make. <laughs> oh, man. Nothing feels good here. Uh, I'm going to just try to make Gem Knight Pearl. Frieza has arrived. Yeah, that's fine. Frieza. Um, that's okay, fine. So the question is, do I just attack with it? Probably not. I'd probably just leave him up. Like, how do you beat a 20? How do you beat a 2600 guy in your deck? I don't think you do. <laughs> I'm just going to leave him up. Uh, yeah, I'll pass. Go ahead. Uh, okay, I'll draw. Anything in standby? No. Finally, we have found a way to play Anything. the game. Very good question, Gage. How do we beat a 2,600 guy? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very solid uh, question. <clears throat> I will normal Mandragora. Sure. We'll overlay. Okay. Oh, man, is he bringing out his own uh, Gemini Pearl? Let's, let's go. Let's go for um, Opio. I will attempt to bottomless trap for it. Bottomless on... I know you can't be lucky enough to pull more than one Pandemic. So either you would be searching it out with this Ophion, or you already have it back there. I will... I'm going to book my Ophion. You just don't want me to get to that infestation, I don't. do you? I'm gonna change. Does that work? I guess it does. Chain Compulse on the Ophion. Yikes. You have to have Deep Priest in the back there. That's one of the back row for sure. So. Well, I'll try for it. <laughs> oh! I don't have a response to the judgment. That's going to resolve. Okay. okay. So. Sure. Compulse is negated. Your card's Book of Moon. All this just so my Ophiel. It's, fu it's funny that he did all this shit and now cannot do anything. Yep. It's sad. <laughs> Not correct. Like, what <laughs> if we just normal a fucking guy? <laughs> Stand my main. Yep. Uh, I'll summon Red Gadget. Red sure. Gadget. Pick up Yellow. All right. Um, if it is dimensional prison, like I read, I don't think you have torrential. You would have flipped it. I'm gonna go instant fusion. Oh, sure. We're also, gonna get Carbonola it, folks. Warrior. He's here. I'll take these two. I'm just gonna make Utopia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll go solid. battle phase. Twenty five in your Ophion. Uh, that will clear. Twenty six direct. Try for the prison. Mm -hmm. You read it. Um, that's fine. Prison him? Uh, I'll main phase two, add a back row, and I'll pass. <laughs> I forgot we're playing this dog shit. This card's pretty good against Utopia, huh? <laughs> we'll set. We'll pass. Go ahead. All right. Exciting. Um, draw. Yep. Stand by main. Yellow. The gadgets are humming <laughs> gonna down. gonna fucking yep. go in. Yep. Yellow into green. We're going in, baby. And then I'll go battle phase. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna assume. I have to go this way. It's first. a 1950. So Utopia. Warrior Lady Banish. <laughs> Ooh. Look at He's like, <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, do, yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, there goes Utopia. And then 12 direct. I'll take 12. Little mini yellow gadget getting in there. Um, I'm just going to pass turn. Okay. <laughs> this deck is so good. Stand by we actually... Me. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> we have it! <laughs> what, what a draw! He's back! Uh, Gage, you want to count the darks in my graveyard for me? 
That's a depressing amount, Alex. <laughs> that was very depressing. You may summon the Dark Arm Dragon. You have a response I for it? I got the response. Oh, yes. Okay. Hey, I mean, God. at least you got the cleanup duty, so that's good. <laughs> thank the fucking uh, Lord. Which is especially good with you, considering you're playing gadgets of all things. Uh, yep. Go Technically ahead. Technically didn't lose a thing. Technically did not lose a thing. Yep. I'll draw. Broke even. Stand my main. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> so there's I'm another fucking gadget. Photon Thrasher. Oh, damn. And I'll summon... I'll summon Red Gadget, and I'll yep. use Red Gadget. Sure. <laughs> you just try and kill him here? All right. I'm going to overlay. <laughs> I need 2,200. I think you I can get there. I've got a billion <laughs> Utopias, bro. I'm going to go into my second one. I'll you go got it. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, so that was 15 minutes of gameplay, just so you're all aware. 45.19 is the ending timestamp. Hour-long video. Man, the gadgets, bro. It's honestly, MSC. not a good matchup for you. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it was a fiendish shit. Uh, okay. yeah, that, anyway. this was boring. I really, I, I really wanted to play Cubs Oh, there, my God. For myself, uh -huh. but... Jesus in my openings, Christ. it's so funny that like three together. episodes ago they were playing like bullshit ass like combo decks, and now it's like, like oh, I've got a adorable summoned red like gadget pass, cards, but no like Pleiades sure. or anything to like benefit off. What could they and possibly like, talk okay, about we... for eight and a half minutes? <laughs> okay, all right. What are what are we working with here? Uh, there comes a time in every series of Hidden Arsenal when you finally found the arsenal. Seven side sets are hidden no more. I hate that Alex pulls nuts in the few sets he's actually willing to re-roll. Man, it's almost like you should be using these tickets more often. Anyone here thinking Alex should have re-rolled is out of their minds. The polls could have been worse. He got one copy of everything he needs. It's been a while since we've seen some tennis-level Yu-Gi-Oh. Even the editor is begging Simo to use a redoer ticket. I still love the redoer tickets joke, but I wonder how many he has. Oh, wow. Gage won the match today, but he might have really lost in the long run with how insane Simo's pulls were this episode. I wouldn't be surprised if, depending on his pulls next week, we see Simo roll up with the evil swarms again. If you see Simo roll up with the evil swarms again, you will see the biggest 2-0 in the history of time. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Sheesh. All right, what are we what are we working with on uh as far as tweets go? Raise your hands if you love Rush. Raise your standards if you don't. Ra rockin' Rush memes. Thanks, Rebecca. That's a really good one. Time seal. <laughs> Skip the video. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Lord, it's a damn shame. I pull a tin duke while the boss pulls a chain. Oh, while a Rothschild gets fat off my name. I don't want to seem angry. I don't want to be mean. But these react lords acting like welfare queens. We should round them all up if you know what I mean. This is the thing. So much you see in the world is artificial. The reacts, you know, they're all pre-watched. But a man singing about progression with his dogs in the woods. That's real. Merch was uh, just in time for me to listen to Simo's 20-minute dissertation on the deeper intricacies of Summon Ophion Pass. Hoodie gang. I really like this hoodie. I, I love the, the cream hoodie. I'm a certified creamer. I wish they didn't come out during summer. I want to wear them. Uh, no meme, but as someone that played both Gadgets and Evil Swarm this time, this episode has jokerified me. Not a prog meme, but you can give a beard to Johnny and Guilty Gear Strive, and he reminds me of Alex. Farfa Yu-Gi-Oh says he walked out of Hidden Arsenal 7. Everyone's just talking. <laughs> oh, come on. Ugh. Dead Royal Aguido. No! No, 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 no. Weekly phone only prog meme. No, I did not download a template. There is a separate edit of this meme under my edit. A uh, fact, 90% of SEMO MSTs get held back right before they're about to pop Gage's best back row. Uh, this is related because it's Zexel era, and this is Zexel related. I have a number binder now. 
she hey let me get your number girl <laughs> Where did you? sure i want a number binder really bad weekly progs got me like alex every episode for the past eternity i'll now proceed to pleasure myself with this bricky one of boss monster uh tell me which one between the tree and the rock i should scrap who's the tree obama snow who's the rock Wait, is that a lowland golem? What the fuck are you playing? Well, I'm a big golem stan. The only two things I could think about this episode. Skill issue. Dear our lord and savior Ryza, please let Simo pull full dragon ruler package of two Draco sacks. I'm tired of seeing him play bad decks. Even back in April 2013, Earth Machine would get non-engine in their hand just by searching their entire deck. <laughs> Uh, Simo's explosive combo deck Gage's never ending conga line of gadgets when I'm in a competition and I won Evils were not the best deck of all time they weren't even the best deck in their own format you know why? because I played Evil Swarm and I got four for the locals once I have a YouTube channel I must be relevant my opinion must matter I must have some kind of a fucking clue what I'm talking about when I say dragon rulers were shit you know why? because I played Evil Swarm and I summoned Ophion and they had no out how are you gonna out Ophion? what do you do against Ophion? Blaster Pop? Forbidden Dress next <laughs> Dark Hole? Infestation Pandemic next Mirror Force? Pandemic next Blaster pop, my body is a swag. Next. Of course I think Evil Swarm were the best deck. What does your deck do? Oh yeah, it specials level 5 or higher dragons. What's a level 5 or higher dragon doing on the field in the first place? Oh, you're either cheating or you didn't read Ophion. I don't care about the hundreds of regional tops, winning nationals, winning YCSs, winning worlds. All the empirical data says that Dragon Rose were the best deck, but I don't care. Do you know why? Because I have a YouTube channel. I think I matter. I'm important. I have an opinion. Focus me, Senpai! My playstyle was better with Ophion on the field, not Dragon Rulers. All these meta sheep saying that Pepe are the best deck, you guys are wrong. Dragon When did he do this? It It's old for sure. He's got his old accent. Now Farfa has an internet accent. 2016? Hmm. Farfa reacting to Rarin first time playing Dragon Maid and he doesn't end on seals. <laughs> oh, look at those tutters! <laughs> I don't need to hear this. Come on. What's the matter? Weren't you gonna kill me? Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Hey guys, Peter Griffin here to explain the joke. The character Simo had his face edited on is named Yami Kuroda, a character from the OCG Structures manga. Yami Kuroda plays Evil Swarm as one of his decks and bears a striking resemblance to Evil Swarm Mandragora. Thank you. Oh, okay. I don't... <laughs> Hold up. We will be, we will be using this. <laughs> Hi guys. Kill you! <laughs> Paul APS from Team APS. Gage leading the French Revolution. Uh, okay. Frown is not out of reach yet. <laughs> the crown is not out of reach yet. <laughs> Next week, the ultimate strategy debuts in Lord of Attack on Galaxy. We will not be playing fucking Blizzard Burn. Simo and Gage isn't doing it. <laughs> Stop giving me your hardest battles. It's a 2600 vanilla, bro. Holy shit, is that a motherfucking Junior Journey reference? <laughs> this is the baby! Wait, it's the sex negative baby! <laughs> oh my god. This is what the iPad sees while they're recording the TikTok about the Oppenheimer sex scene. <laughs> the phrase, please stop playing BLS memes, just write themselves sometimes. Ah, time to finally move in and get ready to fight D-Rulers next week. What the, who are you people? Get out of here. Don't you have any Edison tournaments to be at? We're light monsters and this is our reserve chaos spot. Yeah, buddy, who the hell are you? This is my deck. Hey, buddy, 
this is what I do for a living. I am a chaos auto include by trade. You ever seen chaos packages like these? I check out his chaos package. Don't tell me how to live my life. You ain't never seen banish in a light and a dark like this. I don't know what this is a reference to. Don't do it, Simo. BLS doesn't belong in Evil Swarm. Give me a break. Evil Swarm is dark. It makes no sense not to play those cards. Here is a meme ta or a video talking about Battle Spirits Saga. You will not trick me into caring about Battle Spirits Saga. You claim Digusto Emerald was banned. The July 2019 ban list prediction video determined that was a lie. And in the case of 10-year-old Evil Swarm Gage, you are not the father! <laughs> Damn, he's, he's out there. What the? Is this real? Is this real? When this card is activated, you tie the series. If I Wish I Was Dead was used during the previous episode, you can play a Copium deck this episode and still win. All gauges on cam go, ah, more than once per turn. That's real. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about the scrolling baby. <laughs> Oh, too good, too good. Uh, mid stuff this week, everybody. Really mid stuff.